Hey guys, I'm going to be giving a little bit of an advice video today for computer science uh, students, majors, people going into computer science. So to make it a little bit more fun since the topic is mostly boring, in the middle of this I'm just going to add uh, me eating a bunch of habanero peppers. Uh, that's kind of a thing that a YouTuber would probably do. So. Uh, yeah, let's just get into the advice and expect the habanero challenge. This video is for basically computer science majors, people that are going into computer science for the first time. Maybe you're a freshman, maybe you're a sophomore, maybe you're in high school, maybe you're planning on going into computer science. I just want to tell you what I wish I knew when I was either going in or in the early stages of getting my degree. I decided to do it in high school. I didn't have that much programming experience. Uh, during my senior year, I built my first little website and took a little course on HTML and CSS, nothing big. And when I went into computer science, I didn't really wrap my head around everything. I was kind of just going with the flow, getting my grades, not really worrying too much about getting a job in the future. I think this is a bad idea. This is the first thing you should know. Don't just go into getting a degree and think, oh, I'll just, you know, go to my classes, not worry about internships, not worry about jobs, just get my degree and I'll just be fine. That's not really how it works. Computer science, I'd say specifically, you do want to get internships, you do want to get hands-on experience. After you graduate from college, you're going to have to take these tests, you're going to have to build projects during a lot of these tests. Companies will say, hey, can you build this? Hey, can you build this? And sometimes you're not going to learn that stuff in school. So here's how I want to break it down. There's a few paths. First path, get excellent grades and build a ton of projects and no internships. This is a path where go to all your classes, you're gonna get straight A's, you're gonna learn as much as you can, and you're also gonna build some side projects on the side. Constantly just learn programming languages, get very involved in academia. That's one path. Another path is worry a little bit less about your grades, still make sure you're getting your good grades, still make sure you're doing okay in school, but don't focus on the academia as much. Start focusing on building projects and getting internship. Focus on real world experience. Real world experience will translate later into your jobs a lot better than the academia will. And I truly believe that. Those are the two paths I would give you right there. Focus on one of those two paths. Either of them can land you a job at a big tech company or any tech company for that matter. Those are the two I want to focus on. If you're not doing either of those, if you just kind of breeze through school and you're just like, okay, I'll just get my grades, not do projects, not get internship experience, you're gonna have a tough time getting a job, like a very tough time. And you're probably gonna have to either pursue a you know later on degree or figure something out, take courses after school, go to a boot camp or something like that. You want to really be on top of things in college. And if you're not expecting to have to work hard in college for computer science, you're gonna have to think again about that because this is a very demanding field of study, I would say. Now enjoy the habanero challenge. This looks like hell. The chewing is the worst part. And it's <laughs> and for it probably isn't good for you. It's just tough. It's easy. I'm not feeling too great. Oof. Ooh, that might have been the last one. Oh All right, so that was me eating habanero peppers, and now let's continue. The academia one, I would highly recommend the academia one. If you're expecting to go on to grad school, PhD, if you wanna become a teacher, if you wanna do research, if you're seeing yourself as an academic, stick to academia. You can do some projects as a backup in case you wanna get a job, but build projects or go to hackathons or something, put those on your resume, because those will help you get a job and you'll get some real world experience, but you also get to focus mostly on academia. The other path that I wanted to talk about is the one that I chose, where you do a ton of internships, focus a little bit less on academia. You know, you're still learning all the stuff, pay attention to asynchronous stuff, like threading, operating systems, distributed systems. You're not going to be sitting there reading the book, getting an advanced, you know, knowledge of calculus and mathematics and stuff like that. You're going to be focusing more on building, you know, web apps, iOS applications, Android applications, if that's what you want to do, machine learning, little projects like that, real world stuff so that you can get these internships so that you can go into industry right after school. And jobs really like seeing these internship experiences. Those are the two paths I wanted to talk about. Pretty much the main two paths. Let me know if you can think of anything else, but those are the two that I'm suggesting. Uh, 
one is geared more towards industry. One of them gives you a backup to go to industry because if you have a good GPA and you built side projects, you could still get a really great job in industry, but also is geared more towards academia going into you know research or later on you know grad study or whatever. Now, one other thing I want to talk about besides these two paths that you can take is things that you want to do for each of these paths. On the academic side, there are research opportunities that you can do in the summer. For example, there's things called REUs. So an REU is a research experience for undergraduates. They'll pay you a stipend. You get awarded a stipend. They'll fly you out or you could take transportation. They'll pay for your transportation, summer living, summer food, and give you a stipend to go live somewhere and do research. That might be a good opportunity for someone going towards an academic pathway. The other pathway is an internship one. And you might want to know this. There's really great internships for freshmen and sophomores at big tech companies that you're not going to have opportunities to get later on. For example, Facebook University, Twitter University, Google Engineering Practicum. These big companies have programs dedicated to freshmen and sophomores because they want these people to succeed when they're young. The people that are showing to be promising students early on, goal-oriented people, they give the opportunities to them. But when you're a junior or senior, it's a little bit tougher to get these internships. You have to take tests and stuff like that that are very difficult. So stay on top of applying to these very important programs on the internship side of things. Stay on top of applying to important programs on the research and academic side of things and pick one of these pathways, go with it. If you want ideas for projects, let me know. Go into my Discord, go into Patreon. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. That's just my advice. Those are all the things I wish I knew. I was kind of, for the first couple of years, I was kind of just breezing through and just going to my classes, you really have to acknowledge that this is more difficult than just going to class, getting a degree, and then you get a job. You have to actually prepare, build your resume, get a job, and do some kind of specific thing. A lot of these places are really prestigious and they expect excellence from their employees. So that's my two cents on all that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you guys next time.